Uh, my name is Titankar Mitra. I am the CEO for Western Region for SIFI based out of Mumbai. So SIFI Technologies have been around for close to three decades. Uh, we are headquartered in Chennai and uh, we are a digital ICT service player. Okay, we, we cut across all the technology towers from data center services to cloud to network to security to our digital services. So we are an integrated digital ICT service player today in the market. And uh, we walk across all large, mid as well as SMB customers in the India. 95% of our business is in, in India and we have over these years invested uh, in terms of building infrastructure-led assets at the same time asset neutral digital services uh, portfolio and services for all our customers. Sure, I think uh, pre-pandemic or during the pandemic there has been a lot of uh, adoption in terms of cloud and it continues. So today we are seeing a lot of applications are moving to cloud and it is a hybrid multi-cloud or a hybrid IT infrastructure which the customers are adopting and the customers are looking at a credible service provider like SIFI in terms of not only having a diversified skill set and competencies is around cloud but also across various other technology areas cuts, cuts across securities or data center or or application led services so it's a customers increasingly looking at an integrated services player who can give them one integrated solution sure so there are multiple ways we are uh, enabling the customers one of the fundamental way we do we take uh, positioning in terms of becoming an advisor to our customer right an advisor or an advocacy partner in terms of their digital transformation journey whether it is around the infrastructure or whether it is around the applications so we we study their current state and also we engage with the customer in terms of understanding what are their futuristic vision both from the infrastructure and applications and accordingly we, we customize overall solution for the customer which cuts across multiple technology stack as i said it's it can be around data center it's around cloud infrastructure led services along with a combination of asset neutral digital services so we are very strong in the bfsi segment both private and public bfsi uh, and we are growing in that bfsi segment along with that manufacturing we are seeing a lot of uh, transformation opportunities in the digital transformation particularly in the industrial iot uh, as well as internet of things across the manufacturing segment as well. I think uh, every customer buys three things. Every customer looks at a business value. Second, every customer buys a peace of mind. And third is the relationship with the customers. Because people buy from people. No matter how the technology, what technology is transforming across various, like 10 years back, Klaus was at its infancy. Today, Klaus, cloud is mainstream every customer has a cloud strategy so while technology evolves and there is transformations around digital digitization is happening across every customer i think but fundamentally these three things will never change in terms of customers seeing the business value and getting a peace of mind and ensuring that there is a trust and a relationship factor as well with the service provider sure so sifi as i said we are our entire strategy we are a cloud company uh, now cloud, today the infrastructure in the cloud is a commodity today already. What, what the customer sees a value when there is a digital services integration with the infrastructure. So as an organization, we are constantly upscaling and building new technology. For example, AIML, artificial intelligence and machine learning, deep learning is an area where we have started working for many years back. And today we are in a position to deliver AIML as a service for our customers across BFSI, across manufacturing, whether it is around uh, fraud detection or whether it is around risk assessment or some of the conventional AI that the customer would need to improve the customer sentiments when they are availing services from them. I think these are the areas that we are investing and we will continue to invest and grow the business around some of these cutting edge new edge technologies across AI, ML, IoT, industrial IoT, uh, smart cities and smart automations, okay, uh, all these solutions, that, okay, that's the future. Any uh, message to the CIOs across industries from your end? Yeah, so I think uh, today uh, I have a session uh, in a few minutes from now 
the uh, so CIO, the Chief Information Officer, is now Chief Innovation Officer. Okay, so life has completely changed post pandemic and uh, things are being disrupted in terms of how IT functions. IT is increasingly looked at now as a business outcome. For example, it is no more a CIO or a Chief Innovation Officer, no more things in terms of cost predictability. He thinks in terms of the profitability. So technology has to translate in terms of the business outcome. I think that's the need of the hour and it cannot be as relevant you know, as, 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 as of yesterday or today. For, that For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.